Alright. Vampires. Lords of Blood Bowl. Let's hope there's only two of them, eh? <laughs> oh no, there's four. He's got a clue. Curses. Oh, hello. Hello, Sana 89. Hello. Fancy seeing you here? Mm. <laughs> BLGF. I can say BLGF and uh, my opponent my opponent can't say anything back. <laughs> it's fantastic muting your opponent. I I don't know, it's I think it's better to start off not muted and then mute them if they're assholes. That's probably what I should do. I'll leave it unmuted by default and then only mute them if they're if they talk to me. <laughs> oh dear. Oh god. The fuck was that? Blood Bowl 1 needs to be the camera default, doesn't it? Right. Yes, yes, Ducky. Um. Absolutely, absolutely, um, that is, of course, premium planning. Um, I'm just going to fucking rule a five it. Why not? They're vamps, aren't they? So let's just see what happens. I guess I, I guess I do want to spread them out because then the vampires might end up out of position. Could spread them out, but I mean they'll they'll get stretched anyway over the course of the match, won't they? So it's not really necessary. Oh yeah, they're always stretching all the time. I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> it is. It is currently a Frogman exclusive. Yeah, VIP code. Oh. Um, hello, Shawnee. Wow, is Shawnee back now? Shawnee could be in the. Uh, Shawnee could be in the in the league um, when it's made. Elf Union is pro elves, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's quite it's quite silly. <laughs> stretching. <laughs> yeah, the, the stretching is a bit uh, is a bit silly. Kind of. Uh, no, oh, yeah. Fash streamed yesterday um, at my behest. Streamed himself chopping some wood. This this fellow here has left two two vampires back, which is obviously a bit silly because he should have left a vampire and the thrall back so that he could he could move the thrall first, then move the vamp back to pick it up so he could bite on the thrall if he rolled a one. Um, he has got a bit of bad planning now, but. He's got away with it. Past all four bloodlusts, just quietly. And a pass in the rain. Oh, Alter. He wasn't even on five. He just did it because he thought it was a good idea. Right, let's blitz. Now I'm a seven guy with block. In fact, go there and then keep him covered. And block him without block. And could two plus him out, but does it achieve anything? Not really. 
rather avoid the chance of an elf getting fucked up. Especially with him being stunned. <laughs> Next level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this stretching is uh, is a bit crap. A bit crap. <laughs> ah, bloodlust failure. Burnt his blitz. Eating a guy. I wonder if he'll get to choose. Guess not. Oh, baby. <laughs> yes. Knocked out the guy. Of course they are, Shawnee. They'll never die. Though, of course, double vamp. Oh, he's got a double GFI to, to eat. Oh, he re-rolled it. Fair enough. This is why he should have had a, a thrall back, and he should have planned for that. You know, move the thrall first. You've got you've got to think about your thrall movements. I didn't really mention it too much when I was using vampires because I thought about it, but I I should have said I was thinking about it. I guess. And obviously, you should think about your opponents. Um, you should think about. Uh, you know how your opponents are gonna, what they are gonna do if they fail with lust and stuff. As well. Yeah, this is more suitable for the for the kids level. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, I wouldn't mind blitzing this guy, but I stand up here and blitz this one. Yeah, that gets a player free, doesn't it? Without a dodge, which is good. Just loudly. Make a little screen there for him. Bit of an elf screen. It's not terrible, is it? I don't hate it. Um, not an L screen, but it's a, it is a screen, isn't it? So he's gonna have to blitz one of these two and then cage up here or here, split his team in half. I don't I don't want to super commit to it. I don't think there's any need to super commit to it. Don't want to expose these to a blitz. He could he could run around there, but doesn't achieve much. He could go there again, but doesn't achieve much. One of these could go here, which would be my favourite move. But I just think there's just not that much need to. Yet. Lots of stretching, yeah. Is he gonna hand off here? Yeah. He's just gonna he's just gonna base next to the ball. He's just basing the ball himself. He heard basing the ball was good, so that's what he just did it. Hello, Alec Tom I'm been back for two weeks. I've been too back for two weeks. Isn't that crazy? But still people don't know I'm back. I love that he just based the ball for me. So that's just he's just given up two D on the ball, hasn't he? Here, obviously blitz him, and hopefully power him, but then get the follow up blocks anyway. Get the furthest away player to assist. It's a bit shit that I don't have block, but can just push him into a block guy anyway, can't I? Don't even need to. Right. 
It's time. Please roll a pal. Oh, you can't. Look at reroll. I got three. Guess follows me. I should have thrown. Oh, baby. Shame it's in the rain. Go there, will he surf me? Like it's possible, but I just don't think it's something you do. First elf team in tabletop way back when it was just elves. Um, yeah. El Elven Union or Pro Elves, whichever whatever you want to call them, are a throwback to the second edition. Um, you know, the second edition elves. Where, where there was just elves and dark elves. Well, with these failed bloodlusts, he's making a good argument for um, for starting with two vampires, isn't he? <laughs> I didn't even try to gaze him. So he must be a bit of a beginner with vamps, it's, if that wasn't already apparent. They did, yeah, Dwarves, Elves, and Dungeon Ball. I had that. I had that box. be a surf, couldn't I? Seems a waste to put the catcher in here. But then I don't want to block without block first. Maybe I just block the block. And these can make blocks afterwards. This is the only one that has to work, isn't it? Tight cage against vampires isn't uh, isn't the best idea, but there's not much else to do, is there? Right, Reroll a block if it fails here. Don't fail another one. Good lad. And, and a thing you can do, as well as layering the cage, you can also um, just have like a lot of tackle zones. So they've got to be in a tackle zone to use the gaze, haven't they? Is a, is a thing you can do. I guess I just do safe moves first now. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. I'd like to dodge these guys out in an, in a perfect world, but without a reroll, it's not be crazy. Surf that guy. Yeah, pro elves and dark elves. Yeah, there was there was no wood elves or high elves. It was. It was elves and dark elves with the two, with the two elf races. Roll the one, rain doesn't matter. Roll the one, rain doesn't matter. 
He's been, to be fair, he's been very unlucky with his, uh, with his bloodlust failures. And he just doesn't realise that you can gaze somebody and then, and then eat. And, uh, so yeah, he's, he's definitely a beginner when it comes to vampires. Duck Vargulf. One dra Drake boy. I wonder if he's made these names himself. These must be de they must be default names. But he's called um, Vargulf, and he's nearly called Ducky. Do you know what? They should have just made a vampire called Ducky, just for just for Ducky. Wow, he's rolled a lot of ones for his blood. Oh, and he failed the dodge, so he's run off. He's got to re-roll it. <laughs> Brutal. This is really bumps going wrong. See, he could have gazed then. So he's not, he's not, he's not playing well, as as well as obviously being horrifically unlucky at the moment. I should have, you know, I'm gonna unmute my my people by default, my opponents, um, and then I can always just mute them if they're dickheads. That that seems better than having mute on by default. Could serve him. Push him to there, push him to there. Surely he's surfable. But I guess it's better just to knock him down. And just get get blocks with block, isn't it? Is the uh, is the key thing to do. Make block blocks. Knock people over. Don't use rewards. Win the tam game. <laughs> Law wise, I just literally don't care what it is. Because it's fucking stupid. Law wise. They're just, they're just real elves from Blood Bowl, second edition. It's all that matters to me. We'd really like to put two guys on him to block, wouldn't I? Um, I guess I've got to go for a minimal cage. And then make this 2D. Yeah, so they've kept they've kept true to the original fluff. Yeah, the initial law were they were just they were just elves that played blood ball. So there you go. That's that's just literally it. Count Duckula, yeah. They should have had Count Ducky. Let's see. Might as well be fighting a bunch of them. Yeah, if you fail bloodlust, you might as well. If you're gonna, you know, you can just use. If you fail bloodlust, you have to make a move action, and you use gaze at the end of a move action. So, you, you know, if, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna base somebody and bite some, you know, if he was, he was basing my guy before he bit the guy, so you might as well gaze, even if it's like a five plus gaze. Like you might as well do them at the end of every move action, if if you're basing a player. But um. And you know, I, I forgot sometimes. Um, obviously, the more you play vamps, the less you'll forget. But people who play other teams often for, often forget to gaze when you know, you know every opportunity. You, you, when you plan to gaze, obviously you remember to gaze. But 
it's easy to forget, to be fair. Good morning, Tony. Right, this is a little bit tricky now, isn't it, with no rerolls? But he's left a gaping hole. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So blitz this chap with block. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So not with block. See, obviously tight cage like this, not so good against vamps. But <laughs> there's not a whole bunch of other options, is there? Can yeah, PF eighty four yeah. Right, two D. So I mean, this is incredibly easy for him at the moment, isn't it? So all I can do is is base him so that he's got to at least make a dodge. And he's obviously run out of thralls quite a bit, so. Might not be able to do it. Yeah, no, yeah, block on move, yeah, but you lose a blitz action. Um, but like, yeah, usually you have to, you have to move, don't you? Like there, he was, he was having to move. All right, so giving away that block cost us a stun, but I mean, at least didn't lose the ball. So it's operation, roll as few dice as possible, isn't it? Not easy. That's a dodge anyway, dickhead. Block with block. don't want to blitz without block, but then I can't get two dice on him any other way. Oh, baby. Oh, stun's massive. You can just go over that side now, eh? Tschüss. He is in range to base, but not if he gets pushed. Not in this case, powered. Oh my god, he's dead, and he hasn't regen. Oh, I wonder if this is. I wonder if the spoiler's fixed. It has. It has been fixed. So you saw the animation, but he regen. So they fixed. They fixed the spoiler of seeing the uh, of seeing the animation and then knowing what the result was from that. So while it was disapp while it was personally disappointing for me, <laughs> um, that was that's good good for the game, isn't it? Let him win. <laughs> 
Nah. I should, I, you know, I should have let him win, seeing as he didn't use two vampires. Everyone who uses two vampires, I should just, I should just beat to within an inch of their lives. <laughs> but people who use four vampires should be like, okay, you can, you can get a free win. <laughs> he <said> it. <laughs> he said it yeah, I don't like how how big their forehead. They all look, they're like Rihanna vampires. Um, but yeah, I think the faces in general. I think all the art's pretty good for Legendary Edition, to be honest. I think that's definitely where the uh, where the talent at Cyanide lies. <laughs> Hello, Astro Tor. Hello, VIP Pedro Jack. 999. <laughs> right, without any rerolls, I don't even want to make a three dice block on a fucking throw. Or anything. I could, I could make a three dice, actually. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, three dice with blockers. I'll run the risk. I'll run the risk. Three dice with block against armor seven. Greedy dingo. Oh, baby. So good. I'm so good at Blood Bowl. Three, four, five, six. Could have maybe made it seven on him too, but fuck it. Why is the time out there? What's that? Or maybe that's uh, Discord or something. No, no, probably. I don't know what that time out there came from. I suppose. Yeah, the goblins are pretty amazing. It's like the hobgoblins, isn't it? The hobgoblins are amazing. The goblins are pretty good. Oh, that's the high elf one, isn't it? Oh, then he kicks it. So I think that's different to high elves. Oh, I didn't think of the fucking cheerleaders. Uh, there's an option when you create a team, I heard, but I didn't, didn't see. I really wish the stadium had, had sand on the pitch. Oh, wow. Made the KO roll. Oh, baby. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know if I deserve to lose, but I would have been fine not scoring. It was on his drive anyway, wasn't it? I still think, I still thought I'd beat him. Seven players. But still four vamps, but. Oh, Danka. I'm gonna eat some, eat a sandwich now. But of course, there's not a lot of tactical decisions to be made now, which is nice. Um, six ogres, obviously. There's only one. There's only one possible um, ogre build, Ducky, because they're just so shit. Should I go for a fast touchdown now and then try to turn them over again? I guess so, actually. I, w I wouldn't hate it. If any if anyone's gonna uh, be able to score fast and turn people over, it's pro else, isn't it? Oh man, you gotta go six. You gotta go six overs. Rerolls are for the weak. Rerolls are for the weak. If you go on ogres, you're already going for a fucking dumb starting roster anyway, so you might as well go maximum. You might as well try to make it an ogre team, you know? 
it's a fucking snotling. If if you've got more snotlings than ogres, you've got a snotling team. So, <laughs> Aria lenses. Um, <laughs> so yeah, you know that's it. Right. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this sandwich, so um, I shall be right back.
All right, well, it looks like he's going to concede, doesn't it? Um, no, no, he hasn't. He hasn't. Unbelievable. I thought he'd conceded, which wouldn't be like it would be understandable, wouldn't it? So four, pl four players down, one nil down. Nothing to play for. Can you hear that fizzing? That's really loud, isn't it? No problem. Oh, my, my, name, my username's all caps. Oh, fucking hell, that's amazing. <laughs> I wish I could do that on Blood Bowl too. I guess I can. I'm just making a new account, can't I? No reason not to. Fucking hell, that makes me fantastic, all caps. <laughs> further away from the mic. It's loud as fuck. Yeah, fucking hell, all caps. Okay, so... Blitz on him, and then score, in a true Inarian style. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it would be a GFI to hit him. Um, alternatively, 2D him and get the assist in that way, so that's got to be better, hasn't it? Put him on there. Push is good. Blockity block, block, block. Blitz. Got him. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's true. He's not. He's he's definitely a beginner. I've mentioned it multiple times already. Astro. Yeah. I mean, he's just he's just written. He's getting used to the new teams. So. Oh, human agility working wonders. Make a little cage in case I fail the handoff. Three plus catch. Who who would have known it could work? Two turn and like in Aryan. Oh baby. Like <laughs> it just kicks it away. I like how he starts like a high elf and then just thinks fuck this and kicks it away. Oh my god, Ducky. Well, I guess the two vampire starts better than that, eh? Vamps without rerolls is really fucking hard mode. Could stretch the field now, maybe. Put the pressure on. Sixteen snotlings. No inducements. Let's go. Oh wow. 
I've got a blitz. Got a blitz after deciding to go wide. Disgusting. Two two pluses. Oh no, if I if I blitz him out, it's one two plus to get under the ball, isn't it? I guess I have to base people here though. Which uh It's less than ideal, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put the side stepper in, and same here. And I just GFI. Like he could make GFIs here, and he could make dodges and GFIs, and just go fucking crazy. Why not, eh? Why not go fucking crazy? I've got a reroll. Fucking go mad. <laughs> Fail the first roll. <laughs> oh shit. Double one. <laughs> I mean, I guess I shouldn't complain because I got a blitz, but you know. Fuck about. Isn't it meant to eat blitz? Isn't it meant to blitz? Isn't bloodlust meant to eat blitzes? I don't even know the rules for bloodlust. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, absolutely true. Oh no, because he makes a move action, doesn't he? He makes a move action or a block action, so I guess you don't you lose your blitz. You shouldn't lose your blitz. You lose it even when you don't blitz with him. Right. I need to look at the rules for fucking bloodlust. Right. Blood ball competition rules. <laughs> wow, he's got a he's got a cage and everything. Well, you shouldn't lose the blitz. So why do you lose the... You just can't hit if, you, if you're bloodlust at the moment. Well, you know, you, sh you shouldn't be able to blitz with another player. Oh, if any blit vampire gets bloodlust and then you pick another player to blitz, right. Oh man, that's really bad. That's very true, Astro Toid is crap. Right, I don't know what to do now. Uh, fling players at him and hope something happens because I don't care if my players live or die. So...
wouldn't mind if it was bug free. <laughs> yeah, it's never going to happen, is it? I mean, people have to be able to understand the rules to get Bloodlust right. Like, obviously most people don't know half the rules of Bloodlust, which is fair enough. You, you don't have to use them, do you? You don't have to know the rules of Bloodlust most of the time. But um, when they're making Bloodlust, they should try to get it right, shouldn't they? Yeah, exactly, Flash, yeah. <laughs> Bloodlust was always going to be tons of trouble. It's always It was tons of trouble in blood, in Fumble as well. Like, when Fumble got it wrong, or, like, had loads of bugs, you shouldn't expect. I've just read it now, or says I've just literally re I've just literally reread it. I mean, I've read, I've read Bloodlust before, obviously, in the past, but... It's so niche, isn't it, that you kind of forget about it. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't just do it like Fumble. It's fucking crazy. It's crazy that one dude in his spare time does better than, than a fucking studio is like trying to do. He's got to re-roll that bloodlust. That's what you said. No, I've read it in the past. Oh, he's invisible. No, oh, he's used his reroll. Banged on. I mean, that was the advantage. Oh, well, the advantage, the uh, point of the all men's, wasn't it? It was. It was likely to lead to some kind of scenario like this. Ball based by a sidestepper. Oh, baby. This can be a push, okay. I think the next one has to be a pal. Nah, it still doesn't work, does it? It just got a one dice in. Or two dice this guy. Maybe just two dice him is better. Get the thralls further away from the vamps. They're actually in decent spots, aren't they? Prone vamp gaze is someone who doesn't bother to stand up. Well, that's that's according to the rules, Ducky. That's not a bug. That's um, that is actually just a feature. Yeah, it's not a bug. It's an absolute feature because they've listened to Dode. Dode's um, literal literal reading of the rules um, has determined that you can, in fact. Hypno gaze while prone. Even though we all know the point of the rule was for um, disturbing presence to work while you were prone. They said they work when they're prone. Not not they can be used when they're prone. So it's so fucking stupid, but there you go, Dode has no idea what Blood Bowl is. So he's like, ah oh, well, the rules say they work while prone. So you can do it. You know, he's a fool. We all know this. Right, I'd rather score. Would I rather score with him? No, I think... Well, the catches are kind of easier to score, but then it's easier to score with these two, isn't it? 
I should have pushed the second throw off the block into two D up blitz into one dice blitz. I don't want a one dice blitz. I shouldn't have one dice blitz or one dice blocked. No. I disagree. I disagree that I should have one dice blocked. Um obviously it's an option to one dice block, but I don't want to one dice block pretty much ever. Um reroll used this turn. Is a little bit shit. Blitz with block. Good. Right, he could pick it up, pass it to him, and then he could. No, I can't score this turn. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there. Um, oh yeah, you're not declaring that. You're declaring it, yeah, it should make a blood bus because you're declaring the move. No, well, Jellio, in theory you should be able to use Hypnogaze from Prone. Due to Dold's reading of a rule with no fucking sense. So... Let's go for the handoff, eh? Because this mess here, I don't want to make, you know, blocks without block. When I could just try to get the ball first. Got him. Now he can get away from the vampire. And free up two players. You're only correct, Jellio, if people have brains. That's, um... Oh, fuck me. Jellio can't hear. Jellio's really annoying that he never has sound on. Fuck's sake. <laughs> um... He says, Dord told Sina. That's how it should work. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> um, so might as well go for a go for a touchdown now. Three, four, five, six, seven. Go for three. Oh, it's going to concede. Fuck! Don't even get level him up. Wow! <laughs> Just banned a little call and sub demands it. <laughs> Time out for for not having sound. <laughs> Right. Oh, that's six. That's good, isn't it? Oh, MVP for him. He gets a skill. An MVP for him, so he's a... He's a Kazar accomplishing away. 12 AV breaks. But 42 blocks. You can't give up 42 blocks of vampires. I mean, any AV 17 cut. We didn't even finish the match and he gave up 42 blocks. So... You know, obviously I got to make more... Oh, look, twice as many ones as sixes. Interesting. Um... And the blocks, God, they're amazing, aren't they? The blocks are just completely amazing. Three, four, five rerolls used on blocks. Double skull. Agreed one on the ball. Both down, both down, double skull. <laughs> Boris, why are they why are the why are Pro Isles Polish? <laughs> oh no, it's the it's the Thrals that are Polish. Oh, okay, that kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Because because they're like from Transylvania. All right. Okay. Ignore that. Ignore that. Um, he, I don't think he made any gazes in the entire game. So, yeah. Not. Yeah, Romanian. Yeah. Well, <laughs> they're um. They're not English, are they? Oh God, Adj might be a good might be a good shout. Plus Adj, I know Transylvania is in Poland, but it makes sense that they're like you know, you can have something like that, can't you? I, I, it makes more sense than elves being Polish. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. It makes more sense than elves being Polish because elves should have elfy type names. 
So you can make, you know, thralls are essentially human, so you can call them anything you want, can't you? That's what I was saying. They're foreign. <laughs> um. <laughs> Actually, from, exactly, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Vampires are from where Sylvania, isn't it? In, um, in, in, in this thing. So it could go block or dodge. And could go edge on him. It just if you go edge first on the catch, it's just going to take so long to get blodge, isn't it? So there you go, then there you go, Pablo. I don't know anything. I just said Polish just because I saw lots of Zeds and stuff. One was Klitschko, wasn't it though? Which is uh, which is like where's he? I don't even know where Klitschko's from. But there you go, edge on him probably, and. Uh, and block or dodge. I don't even know what to take on on him to be honest. I don't know whether to go block or dodge first. It would make sense to go dodge first, wouldn't it? Because you're because you're armor seven. Um, oh yeah, of course. Right. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.